gentlemen this is not as cool as Jimmy Johnson's retirement video but you are here to see the 2019 season review so cool year had a lot of fun you know it's challenging when you have a sister does PR and uh, she chases you around the races uh, I'd say she made 25% of our races this year which isn't too bad I think she said uh, 105 races I think we did uh, 80 races all together this year which I'm a little different than the rest because I do have a real-time job so it keeps an interesting year it started actually I think it started in uh, Georgetown in, in uh, March in the snow in the Pasquale 3 and it ran all the way till Charlotte. So from there we went up to New York, we went to Pennsylvania, went to North Carolina, New Jersey and Maryland and all in between. So pretty good year. Um, 14 wins. I would say that's a, a fair year. You always want to win more on that side of it, but we'll take it for what it's worth. Uh, we ended up with I think 42 top fives and 56 top tens which was a pretty stout year, and uh, two championships. Uh, you know, we drove for some great teams along the lines. Um, we, obviously, we won, uh, I want to say, 10 races with the Holston Motorsports 96 team this year, which was an uh, awesome year to begin with. Uh, we went through uh, highs and lows this year of uh, racing. It was definitely a team effort, really good team effort. We won two down at Georgetown, which was the blast at the beach, and uh, the one here at the end of the year, the fall, um, small block race. Uh, then we ended up winning, I think, six at um, New Egypt. Actually, it was eight races we won with the Holston team because I won two of my own, which we'll get to in a second. Um, we won six races in New Egypt, which was the Legends of the Fall and the Garden State Gunfight. So two real big races that really led us up to our uh, 2019 championship season there. Pretty cool. That was our second one there. Um, really good effort for our team. You know, we had a great strong group of sponsors between Phillips Garage, KC Service, uh, M&T Tree Service, uh, Atlantic Sprinkler, Danny's Pizza Pizzazz, k and Excavating, ACM Tool and Dive, Bicknell, and Bilstein. Um, they were our, our big ones that made that whole deal go around. So we were very fortunate. Um, we, we split some time between uh, different things and hit on a really good setup. So that was really neat to see. We also, uh, I think we ran about 12, 15 races of my own stuff this year in the 15, which uh, was up and down. Um, we had Banger Steel join us this year under the party, which was really cool. Um, Pat's been with me for a while, our friends of mine, so it was neat to have him join the team along with uh, B&G Truck and Trailer Repair, Growers Garden Center, Atlantic Sprinkler, Ken's Tire. Uh, there was just a ton of people that really made it around. Degree Engineering, Greg. Uh, Beely family, but we had a we we went to a diamond. We were up and down. We tried a bunch of stuff, and anybody who was a diamond this year, I hiked my left front pretty high for most of the season. Once we got a knack down there, we uh, we ended up with two wins, which wasn't a bad year. I mean, two out of uh, I don't know, like I said, twelve races was an okay percentage. In my book, it was a little off, but uh, it wasn't bad. Um, we then also went and ran uh, for um, the Brightensteins, so the 14 there, we, we had some motor issues early in the year, and once we got that resolved, we hit pretty good. We got a third, uh, two top fives at the end of the year, and uh, we're actually running top five at the Sixer, and had another motor issue, so they, uh, we're looking to improve our motor program for next year with that deal, and uh, hopefully we can swing it. Um, I did run for Bill Pasquale as well, in Pasquale Racing, the Interstate Batteries team, um, with D&M Roofing and uh, Repair. Uh, it was it's up and down, I would say. We, we learned a lot. It was a different different than what I was used to going up to New York and the uh, tracks and the way we ran it. You know, we had some good finishes. We had some bad finishes. Uh, we had we beat our head against the ground, wall a couple times, and we didn't beat our head against the wall. There was nights where we were the last people to leave the pits, but you got to say yeah, it was a good effort, and I uh, wish we could have had better results, but that's what 2020 is for. Um, well, then the last big thing we did was we ran Kutztown, the action track. We've been there, ooh, this will be seventh year. So we were able to win three races. A couple disappointments. We really should have had some more there in the Speedster. And uh, we came up with one championship at the end of the year and uh, three wins, which was pretty cool. And then in the micro sprint, we ran for Lamar for the, oh man, sixth or seventh year in a row, and uh, which was pretty awesome, to be honest with you. 
and we ended up with one win in eight races, actually nine races, so it wasn't bad. We lost the championship, which was kind of depressing there on that end of it, but if you haven't got a gist of it, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm going on like five, over five years with most of the race teams I've been with and kind of building families, and that's kind of what racing is, and just the atmosphere. And, you get better every year and you try to figure it out. Uh, there was a stretch in August where I had like five DNFs in a row and I really thought I couldn't drive and then, then we went three wins straight. So it's an up and down roller coaster and uh, we thank you for coming along for the ride. And uh, 2020, uh, whew, we, have a, we have an army I like to call it. I call it the Billy Pouch Junior Army and we, uh, we show up in force. So uh, my guys are awesome, man. Uh, it starts with Art, man, we go everywhere together. Uh, he can probably hit I'd say 90% of my races this year. I got guys in the shop, Ronnie Totten, Ron Miller that go to a lot. You know, we got Marlon, Scotty, Bobby Smith, uh, Ricky, Mark, Keith, uh, Shane, Jimmy, uh, Ralph, Bill, Chico, Chris, Rod, Jason, Lamar, uh, Mike Ross. Man, if you haven't noticed, we got a pretty cool army of people. And uh, an army is what makes a team, and I'm just the conductor that makes it work. And that's kind of how it is. And we're fortunate that all of us do this as a hobby, man. To get 14 wins as a hobby is pretty awesome and uh, pretty cool, to be honest with you. And if you look at some of our, if we took out some of the DNFs and the motor mistakes that we just had on issues on, not, nothing we're going to do or nothing the motor builders did, we would have probably had a really killer percentage. But uh, that's, that's what it's seen. And uh, we're, it is officially the end of November, middle November, and we have some new cars being built and new motors and things are going our way. So. I don't know my uh, my Michelle and uh, puts up with a lot because I don't I don't sit too well. I kind of once racing season ends, I hit the shop. I don't like to stop, and uh, I do take a week off. We do take a little vacation, but it's uh, it's a hard. So uh, the biggest ones I gotta thank is my family, my parents, and uh, my sister, and everyone on that side of it. And then uh, Michelle and Billy. Uh, it takes a lot. It's uh, it's a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of agonizing agonizing nights, a lot of things that go up and down, and. Uh, Without them, uh, we wouldn't be where we're at today.